All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for our next set of notes. We are still continuing in module one, so please put that on the top, module one notes. Also, as usual, go ahead and put your name and your number in the corner. You never know when a page may get pulled out or something, so you don't want to lose it. Okay, we are going to be moving on to module one, lesson six today, which means our Roman numeral is going to be a five plus one. So VI makes a Roman numeral six, and the title of the lesson is going to be Comparing Numbers with Place Value. Comparing Numbers with Place Value. We'll talk later also about how you can use this information to order the numbers. If you have three or four or more, you can put them in order from least to greatest, greatest to least, but we'll get to that in a little bit. First, I'll start with some vocabulary. And today's vocabulary is actually mostly going to be connected to the symbols we're using. Okay. Hopefully you've seen these symbols before. I'll put this one down first. This is the symbol for less than. If you see this in a number sentence, if you see it between two numbers, the number on the left is going to be less than the number on the right, on the other side. Okay. You can kind of remember this if you turn your paper or if you tilt your head a little bit. It looks like an L. It looks a little bit like a capital L. So if that's less than, the next symbol that we will need will be the opposite of that. It's facing the opposite direction, and it is greater than. Greater than. So same deal. Whatever number is here is greater than whatever number we put after. I will give you some examples in a few moments, and hopefully that will make more sense. Now, I always say every year, and you've probably heard this from other teachers, Think of these symbols as a mouth. Think of it as a mouth. The mouth is always going to open towards the bigger number because it's hungry, it wants to eat more. Pac-Man always wants more power pellets. Okay, So this is always going to open towards the larger number. You just have to be careful when you read it, less than, greater than. Okay, number three. This symbol I know that you've seen before. You have been using it for years. This is the equal symbol, the equal sign. Okay, We just read it as equal to. Equal to. Now, don't have to spend a whole lot of time on that. I will say that you are going to see examples where on one side you'll have a number, on the other you will have something that looks a bit different they can still be equal to each other. That can get tricky, but we'll practice. All right, part B, the procedure that we're going to use to compare numbers. It's not too complicated. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. Step one, you are going to line your numbers up Line the numbers up vertically. Okay. Think of it like a place value chart. In fact, if you have one handy, you may want to use a place value chart. Of course, you can always draw one on your paper as well. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. Line your numbers up vertically on a place value chart. So for example, if I am going to be comparing 32 and 5 hundredths compared to 32 and 5 tenths, my first step is going to be to take the numbers and write them vertically. Basically write them one on top of the other. Doesn't really matter what you start with. I usually put this one on top, but again, it doesn't really matter. What does matter is that you line up the decimal points. 
This is going to be super important when we add and subtract decimals later. Yeah, may as well get in the habit now. Line up those decimal points. Okay. Now once that's done, step two, you are going to start at the left. You're going to start at the left. So you're going to start at the greatest place value. Greatest place value. Okay. Now, looking at the numbers from before, the greatest place value, this goes out to the tens. This goes out to the tens. So that's where we're going to start. We'll start there on the left. Now, I'll put part three, step three, and then I'm going to rewrite the numbers again. We'll go through the whole thing. Once you have the numbers written vertically, and once you've started on the far left, you are going to compare, mechanical pencil's driving me nuts, you are going to compare vertically. That means you're going to look up and down. Compare vertically and, love me some ampersands, compare vertically and move right. Move right until you find a difference. Okay. So once again, let me write these numbers. We are comparing 32 and 5 thousandths to 32 and 5 tenths. Looking at those two, I start at the left, that's step two, start at the left, and I move to the right, looking at this and saying, okay, three and three, are those different? No. Two and two, are those different? No. Zero and five, mm -hmm. zero and five, those are different. So now I'm going to ask myself, which is bigger? I'm looking at this and I'm asking myself what many of you are probably thinking right now is a super easy question. Which is bigger? Zero or five? Well, that would be five. <laughs> five is going to be greater than zero. Five tenths is more than zero tenths. So this is the larger number. Thirty-two and five hundredths compared to 32 and 5 tenths, 32 and 5 tenths, that's the bigger one, 32 and 5 hundredths is less than 32 and 5 tenths. Even though I keep saying 5 tenths, that sounds like it should be smaller, right, than hundredths, but remember, if I break something into a hundred pieces, those pieces are going to be small. If I break something into 10 pieces, the same something, all those 10 pieces, each one's going to be a bit bigger. Now we'll do a few examples together, and then we'll do some more in class when I see you next. Okay. But looking at our examples, okay. number one, let's say we're comparing 18 and 3 tenths to 18 and 2 tenths. Some of you may already have the answer, but we're going to go through, write it vertically, 18.3, line up that decimal, 18.2, same, same, different. So this one is bigger which means the mouth wants to eat that one. So it's going to open that way. 18 and 3 tenths is greater than 18 and 2 tenths. Okay, that one wasn't bad. But I promise you I can make it worse. 16 over 100. Oh no, there's a fraction. Compared to 15 hundredths. 
Okay, now that may look frustrating, but it doesn't have to be. Think about how you would read this. You should read this, and I know I said it wrong a moment ago. You would read this as 16 hundredths. Hmm. If I write that as a decimal, 16 hundredths, it should look like this. 16, last digit in the hundredths column. Don't have to do anything to that. Okay. Zero, are those different? No. Are those different? No. Are those different? Yes, they are. That one is larger, so once again, greater than. We will do one more example together, and then I will let you go. Last one. Okay, last one. 96 and 31 hundredths compared to 96 and 310, excuse me, 96 and 310 thousandths. Got to make sure I say it like a mathematician. Now these are both decimals, so we don't have to change anything. Just write 96 and 31 hundredths, 96 and 310 thousandths. Start on the left. Are they different? Nope. Different? No. Different? No. Different? No. Different? Not really. Now some of you may be thinking, well there's something here, shouldn't this one be big? Remember, I can add as many invisible zeros over here as I like. So really, even though we didn't see anything there, even though nothing is written there, these are actually exactly the same. So, 96 and 31 hundredths is equal to 96 and 310 thousandths. That's pretty much all we're going to do for today. It's definitely all we're writing for notes. Again, when I see you in class, I will show you how we can use this to then put numbers in order. But it's basically the same process. You'll line everything up vertically. Just instead of marking which one's biggest, you'll have to say which one's biggest, which one's smallest, put the others in order accordingly. All right, that's it for today. For Nicholas, let me remind you to please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Have a good afternoon slash evening slash day, folks.